Guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, home of Zach Radford, eating some Chick-fil-A. We're out here at the Hermitage. This is, this is his home turf, so he's clearly got the advantage, but we're gonna play nine holes on my channel, nine on his. Get right into golf. The Hermitage, is it a golf course or golf club? Hermitage Golf Course. President's Reserve. President's Re Reserve. Let's get after it. All right, here we go. Hole number one, I mean, unassuming, dead straight. Looks pretty pure out here, so Zach, you know yeah. what, I'm gonna give you the honor. I appreciate it. I need to see a good ball flight before I hit my, uh, my <laughs> we're driver. Going driver. I hit this for the first time yesterday. Two of them were good, two of them were bad. So hopefully we get one of the good ones. Sounds yeah. to me like excuses are already rolling in here. We haven't hit the first tee <laughs> shot. But anyway, yeah, hole one. Oh, the little heel cut, useful shot. Fairway, fairway finder right, right there nice. with the heel cut. A little right, but looked like fairway. Should be. Yep, yeah, right side of the fairway. Hey, is that what we're looking for? Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hope you enjoyed today and uh, thank you for watching this video. But yeah, I'm 1 0 against Zach on my channel, 0 1 on his channel. Game does feel pretty good, even though this is his home turf, turf. He knows the course, so I do have a slight disadvantage. But yeah, this course looks really good in the weather. It's amazing. So, y'all are in for an absolute treat, I hope. <laughs> All right, here we go, Zach. About 78 yards to that pin. Distance is right. This looks really nice. A smidge long, but really, I mean, good, I'll good contact. Yeah. yeah, got a good, good looking birdie here on hole one. Yep. Not in the fairway, but that's fine. We've got 82 yards. Going to play about a 78, 70, maybe even 75 yard shot, and kind of take the spin off and let it roll back there. Oh, it's really good if it's on a good number. Yeah, oh, nice shot. Whoa. Wow, that was a really firm bounce. Way better shot than that, people. I agree. And not and not just like a, uh, it was, you know, a little better. That was a way better shot than where this is going to end up. It rolled off the back of the green. I guess the, the greens are kind of firm, firm, which I'm blaming Zach for that. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> Home um, advantage. But I should have known that. I saw how his reacted, so that's on me. But yeah, I mean, I landed it probably maybe even a yard or two short of that pin, just kind of released over the back. So just, just got to move on. All right, so there, Zach just fixed my ball mark. So look, I mean, these greens are firm. Landed yeah. right there, right where I was trying to, just released, and Zach landed right, right there with some here. spin. So yeah, two good looks at birdie though. Did he do it to me on the first? <laughs> good roll. God. Hey, good wet shot, good putt, good start, par. That's true. That's par's good. never bad, thank you. Stay up. Oh my gosh, it does. That of was course. A big start. Big start. Of course. The birdie on one, one up for Zach. Nice job. Thanks. Nice birdie. Appreciate it. Definitely digging these uh, hole signs. I mean, it gets straight to the point. Hole two. <laughs> here we are. All right, here we go. Second hole, par five, about 560. Mr. Rad has the honors. Just absolutely smashes it right down the center. Good drive. Thanks. Really, really good drive right there. Right. I, mean, I can't wait to see you like 50 yards uh, in front of me on that one. But I yeah. don't think so. You hit that really well. You hit that well. An accidental draw too, even better. <laughs> All right, those are the best. The the ones where you're trying to hit your fade and you accidentally hit like a draw that ends up in the fairway as well. So it's gonna go a little farther than than normal. And don't act like you guys have never done that. But Zach's drive there. I'm telling you, it, it came off different. So we might be at about the same distance, but he also could be about 20 yards in, in, ahead of me. And if you don't subscribe to his channel, go check him out. That's where this back nine of this match will be. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that match as well. What a day. There's Zach's ball, mine. I mean, I'm kind of happy with this. Only being 15 yards behind Zach when he pummeled one is a win. But yeah, we got 235 uh, to that pin right there. All right, we're gonna go with four iron. My four iron's about 220 club, but I think if it lands on the green, it should release back there and hopefully get there. He's drawing. Somehow bounce back there for me, Zach, please. Dude, I think it's going to. Go. Go. Okay. About where I thought it'd be, about 10, 15 yards short. Five iron, about five. About 500 yards. <laughs> I was gonna say about 520, about 220. 220, five, five iron. iron, sounds about right. It's asking a lot, like I, I'm not gonna carry it there, so I'm hoping for the same thing that George was. 
Land it on the front, hopefully trundle back. Got a slight leaker out of the right, but looks like that's gonna be fine. You got plenty of green to work with. Yeah. Not gonna hurt you. All right, so a little tip for you guys. So it's fall, it's getting a little cooler, so that means the ball's not gonna be traveling as far. So you normally, 225 is probably a four iron uh, distance for me in the summer, but today, the fall may be 215. So when you're playing golf this fall, plan accordingly, take about 10 yards off some of your irons when it gets a little cooler to really, um, to really dial in those numbers. There you go. Here we go, Zach's ball. Actually, way less green than I thought we had yeah. there. Mine's right in front of the, right in front of the green, right there. So good yeah. shape. I definitely thought we had more green to work with. I However, agree. now we're up here chipping. Yeah, chipping on par five, so it's not nothing in the world. Probably try to land something like on the fringe there, because if I land it all the way on the green, it's probably going past. Let's see if we can have a little touch this morning. Wow. Dude, I thought that was gonna actually land a little firmer. That's really good. I mean, to get it that close from kind of a sketchy lie, you're dewy, you know, not gonna get a lot of spin, so yeah, we'll, we'll take done. it. Yeah, good shot. Holy firm bounce, Zach. That landed really I mean, firm. Y'all are gonna be able to hear that, how loud, I mean, it was a thud, like, holy. Very nicely done. Great putt. Thank you. That was big. Great up and down. <laughs> that was big. Stay out. Oh, oh, holy but... snapping turtle. That... I mean, he might have pulled that a little bit, but, but people. That was not that bad of a stroke. That thing broke like two cups. I didn't see it breaking that much. That's good. We'll give that to you. So, I do appreciate the gift. If he was doing that on purpose, I'd kindly appreciate <laughs> that. But after two, both one under and all square. All right, here we go. The third hole. What a pretty little par three. About 175, I think. But look. There we go, the Tennessee River, some slight mountainous elevation, hills, whatever you want to call that. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of Nashville. Nashville's pretty awesome. Yeah. You gotta visit it, for yeah. sure. Not as, not as cool as Aiken, though. Don't get your hopes. <laughs> I mean, it's cooler than Aiken. <laughs> All right, it is about a 175 shot. I'm gonna go with eight iron and kind of take dead aim. That is pretty much what he did. Did it enough? The wind, the right wind the up there? Flag. Yep. He's up there. Barely. Yeah, I've got an eight iron as well. Ooh, nice. That is a really good shot on a really good line. Oh, and it kicks right. What is this? A little right, a little whole course advantage. Um, I do oh, didn't know yes, it kind of sloped a little bit. On a serious note, if I'm playing a tournament, I'm probably gonna start my draw at the pin and try to get it to end 20, 20, 15 feet left and use that little slope. So if I play this hole again, probably take it a little bit, a little bit further left. But today, we're being aggressive. We're going at pins all day. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so from 175, these are two phenomenal shots. Zach's really good, mine, heck, is really good. But here's the slope I was talking about. If I'm playing a tournament, I'm for sure gonna try to land something here and let it kind of kick right. And if it doesn't, then we're still you know, left this pin where right's not bad, but in a tournament, probably wouldn't take that route. Zach, the putter is mm -hmm. hot. That should have gone in. You've hit three. It should really be three. It should putt. be three under. Three. That was a great roll. Yeah. Oh, just pours that it in. That was big. That was big. Mine stayed pretty yeah, straight was, there. Yeah, that was a good was read. Straight. It, his was pretty straight where mine kind of snapped or didn't snap. Who knows? But anyway, yeah. two under through three for Zach, one up heading to the fourth hole. All right, how about that start? Three birdies through uh, three holes for the two of us combined. So pretty good golf is being played. Like Zach is pretty solid. I've hit nothing but good shots as well. So I, I like where this video is trending and how this round is trending. a hair right but it looks like right is the miss on this hole so it should be fine so it might be in the rough it's going to be in the rough and that is exactly how you draw it up really good swing there thank you all right all right so here's my drive good drive and zex he's fine up there in the rough he's got about 105 yards i'm going to stay down here and film you so uh hit you a good one Where it is. 
All right, a hair left on the putting surface. All right, we got 105, going with the L wedge. I'm gonna take that aim. Open club face, that's 50 feet short. And right. I think it's almost pin high. Yeah, people, that was BAD bad. Whiffed on the release part and had a wide open club face at impact, thus causing it to not go as far and <laughs> go way to the right. So cover your eyes on that last shot or just try to erase that from your, from your memory. No turn, Zach. Good putt, just, just in turn. Great putt. Uphill left rider for Zach. Oh, he didn't quite hit it. No. It's a really, really good putt. Good par. Thanks. Yours is good. Thanks. I do appreciate the kindness, <laughs> but we'll tap in. Good either way. Never a doubt, though. Never a doubt. Kind of dodged the bullet there because a little more speed on his putt, it goes in. But as we head to the fifth hole, I believe, one down or one up for him, two under, one under. And we are doing match play today, I believe. Or if it benefits me in the long run, we'll do stroke play <laughs> to be determined. Here we go, hole five, par four, slight dog leg left. Um, yeah, it looks like just take a driver right just at those trees and hit a cut. Hammers it, I think a slight tug, but it looks like it should be fine. Should be all right, right there, right, right. side. We're good. Yeah, so after four holes, I'm a fan of this golf course. For a public golf course, it's in phenomenal shape. Greens are really good, fairways are pure. Um, not too challenging, but also not too not too hard, so it's perfect, uh, in my opinion, for playability. And the length is about 7,200 yards, so it's still a pretty decently long golf course. Um, yeah, big fan. Big fan here of the Hermitage Golf Course. Now, now I just need a couple more birdies so I can get this Zach match uh, under control. <laughs> All right, we got 137 to the front pin. I'm gonna hit about 135 yard or attempt to hit a 135 yard pitching wedge, which is just a nice smooth pitching wedge. Perfect distance, just slightly open club face again, people. Just got, I mean. All right, when I'm talking slightly open, I mean like fractionally slightly open because Oh, that was a good shot, good swing, good tempo. I love the rhythm of it. But being that I come slightly from the inside, if I'm not, you know, if I'm slight bit open, then it's gonna kind of push it out of the right a little bit more. So that's kind of what happened there. We got about 25, 30 feet for birdie. I you mean, hate, you hate to see that. Um, I mean, I don't love it, but, but also, you love like, it, I don't, don't you? hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hey, you, Now you're just playing for par. I've been in a Kiowa video, I had the same exact lie. Uh, a few months ago, so it can be done. Parts can be made from there, and trust me, I've seen you make parts from way, way worse. Yep, back in play, it's all you can do. All there right. you go. And we're back done. in play. It's right at it, people. Wow, what a shot. Just kind of releases it a little bit, but still looks like. Good. I mean, Eight, I'm, I'm happy with that. Heck yeah, so. good shot. Thanks. Did he do it to me? Oh, good, good roll. Far. Well, we have so. the first roll debacle of the day that yeah. you should explain what happened here. So we were out there and George spotted the ball. I didn't even look at the ball. I really didn't. I was just like, yeah, it's a Titleist. Looked down, got up here to the green, and I was like, these dimples don't look right. <laughs> this is definitely an AVX. And I was playing a ball. Pro V1. It should penalize you two strokes, but I'm a nice guy. I see my ball right back there, currently. So. I'm a nice guy. We're not going to hold him to it, so we're going to let him go back there and play it. But this is your one free pass today. Right, and if it comes back to hurt me, different story. But yeah, he's going to go replay this shot. That's kind of funny. And if you're doing the, if that does happen in a tournament, it's a two stroke penalty, yeah. unfortunately, and you got to go replay the shot. So George yeah. is being very kind. To allow me to go back there. Uh, you do have to pay attention. Yeah. Just because you find a golf ball, may have fallen out of someone's bag, who knows? Make sure it's your own golf ball. Ooh, not quite enough mustard, but I mean, got a chip at birdie. Nice, 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 nice par. Thanks. Nice par, we'll give that to him. Well done. Thanks, sir. All right, so through five holes, no blood 
um, on this one. So still, I'm one down. One under for me, two under for Zach as we head to the sixth hole. Four holes remaining in this match. Right over the 150 sign, it looks like, to be the yeah. uh, money play. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. We, we might have life. That is a four right. First bad shot of the day. Yeah. Hang on. Stay right there. Hey, good shot, man. <laughs> all right. That's going to be all right. Perfect angle. So it really it is. is. All right, so Zach hit a bad shot, yes. But me, when I saw that, when I stepped up to the tee box, I was like, you know what? I want to be in the right rough. The angle looks way better. So, yes, it might have looked like on the shot tracer that it was a bad shot, but really that's what I was try <laughs> trying to do. Yowza. Yep, tough lie here. Just creeped in the bunker for me. As you can see, there's the pin. Zach's ball, fine, but might have a little bit of tree trouble, but looks pretty good though. And then here's Zach's ball. Does have some tree trouble. Ball, as you can see, limbs right there that hits one of those limbs, who knows where it can go, but he can move the ball quite a bit. So honestly, if anyone can pull this shot off, it's him. So let's... Uh, I hope so. Yeah. Cut. Down. I don't know what to tell it. Looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Good shot. We oh, yeah. That's really good. All day long. Yeah, really good. Thanks. I think we'll be able to see it. Maybe. Just right there over that bunker on the green, about 30 feet from birdie. All right, so we got 97 yards. Going to go with a little pick or ball first, uh, chippy 50 degree. Oh my, perfect. Oh, perfect, con literally perfect contact, perfect um, direction, just hair too much uh, speed. That might have been contact of the year for me so far. Kind of a sketchy line in the bunker, hit ball first with a 50 degree, just gave it an ounce too much power. So it landed on the back of the green and then hopped over instead of landed kind of right near the pin and checking. But out of the bunkers, honestly, the goal is to hit, hit ball first, get it out, get it over the lip, whatever. and. I uh, did that, so now we just got to go chip this in because Zach's got a pretty good look at birdie, it looks like. Good chip. Thank you. Very nice. Stay up, stay up. Mm. Mm. It's good, good par. Thanks, sir. Good par. Never a doubt, we were wasting daylight there. Yeah, I mean, really, <laughs> we were. Kind of a big putt there, Zach. If I missed that, I'm two down with three to go. That is true. But I'm one under, he's two under. And what you guys didn't see back there, it's had a super sketchy lie. It's one of those lies in the rough where there's a lot of grass behind the ball, so easily could have just dumped that right in front of my face and then made bogey, whatever. But super happy. Yeah, after where I was, I left myself around the screen, super happy with par. I know Zach's happy with par with that, after that drive, so. As we head to the seventh, a hard par three looks like 230 plus yard par three. One under for me, two under for Zach. All right, here we go, Zach. 235, par three, the pin is in the back, so all you gotta do is hit about 210, 215 shot to yep. get on the green. My guess, five iron? I've got five iron. Nice. Yep. Heading up the left side of the green, cutting a little bit. Looks like 20, 30 feet left, which, yeah, good shot. Thanks. A little uh, theatric in the background. All right, left side maybe. Left side-ish, but it seems like that little fringy shot that I've had like on every putt today. Slight overhook, but when you're trying to hit a four iron, kind of max it out. That is a tendency is to kind of get it going a little left or a little right. But when you have 235 plus on a par three and you can have your putter, I think I'm gonna have my putter in my hand. You, that's a never get mad at that. I will never get mad at that. You should never get mad at that. Wesley, ah. Uh, he would probably be mad at that, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. <sighs> okay. Okay. Not sure what to tell it. Maybe go a little bit? No? Really good. Thanks. Got a little meat left, but still, from that far, for that, from that far, good putt. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Good okay. roll. Really good a roll. A little more speed. Dude, that was the line. That was tracking. That was. 
Good par. Let's go. Giving pars? Give me a three. I'm not even gonna putt this. We will take <laughs> your concession. Oh, it didn't break left. Oh, oh yeah, it might have pushed it. it a little bit, but still, I thought for sure yeah. it was gonna kind of fall out that way because you can see the water is breaking that way, so the grain's going that way. Yeah, well, but it happens. It's a hard par three. It's 240, 235, so that happens. But as we head the eighth hole, the things are all square. We're both one under. We're both playing really, really well. So excited to see how this thing finishes up. Stay tuned. All right, hole eight, par five. Good looking hole here. It looks like just hammer a driver right at that big tree that you see with your cut, or with my cut. That's fine. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's perfect. Oh, that is perfect. It looks like a high no spin fade right at that tree. It's going to be money. Good shot. Thanks. Man, what a day and what a match we have here. All square. And hope you all are having a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you all for the support as you all, that you all have been showing me here of late. And I really do appreciate that. But yeah, today's a fun one. Zach's playing really well. He's playing much better than he did in the match at Columbia with my, or when he was in my hometown. I'm playing pretty solid. We just need to get a couple birdies here to finish this thing off strong to really, really have ourselves a good day. But now, our second shot's into this par five. All right, guys, we got 238 to this pin. Got about 220 to, 215, 220 to carry that bunker y'all see. Gonna try to max out this four iron because the pin is in the middle, so I do have some space to run it back there. Nice, there we go. It'd be perfect. Well, I don't know, 85, 90 yards away. That's uh, that's what, that's what you get. I deserve that to try to hit a four iron as hard as I could. Instead of just being smooth, I deserved everything that I got there. But it is a par five. We're gonna have a wet shot into the screen. Now Zach has a little tricky shot here. There you go. This is what Zach's working with. In a little fade right here. I've got about 220 to the hole. I've got a five iron. Probably gonna put it back slightly in my stance. That way I don't get it too high too quick. Hit that tree. Perfect eight shot shape. Is it gonna carry? Oh, just barely. I think it's on the like just off the Good green. Good shot. Really nice. That, that was gonna Thanks. look nice on shot tracer. Appreciate it. Not leave myself in a great spot here. Got 50 yards. The high, soft lob wedge. Also, shout out Will Miles, because that's how you properly take it high and upstairs and land it soft. Oh man, I, that's what I, that was my swing thought over that um, as I was standing over that. It's like just do what Will Miles said. All, he, all you gotta do is just take it high upstairs and land it soft. Uh, but that's how you properly do it, though, Will. So if you're watching, take notes. All right, there we go, Zach's ball. Good shot. There's mine, as you can see, right there. There she is. Um, so I mean, we got an outside look of birdie, but I think advantage Zach though on this hole. My gosh, that was huge. Let's go. I mean, what a. <laughs> that was big. Great birdie. Great Gives birdie. Gives me hope. Two under, three under. Yep. Playing the ninth. We got a barn burner. You know what the annoying thing is? Is he chipped in on his channel against me on the 16th hole. Uh, in, in our last match on his channel, whatever. And the thought going through my mind there was like, you know what? I bet this fool is going to chip in. And sure enough, I mean, give some. Thanks. Yeah, that was a, I mean, I absolutely it. pure. Clipped it perfectly, read it perfectly. And one down, playing the last. And anyway, two under for me. He's playing good. Yeah. But Zach, playing a little better at three under. So stay tuned for this last hole of this huge showdown. <laughs> also, not to toot my own horn, but knowing that I was going to be, if I missed that putt, going to be two strokes down playing the last hole. I had to step up there and make it because you just got to mentally erase what happened and hit your shot, and that's what I did. And that, so honestly, it was cool that I made that. Shout out to Zach, that was, that was sick. Um, pumped for him, but at the same time, dang it, man, why'd you have to do that to me? Hold on, this is a really good hole today. Uh, 435 into the wind. The play is to start to kind of fade at that dune, the grass little bunker you see there, and fade it off to the 150, kind of in the center of that fairway. But as you can see, yeah, this is a good one to finish it's on. A good one. and just pulls it, but he ripped that thing. Holy cow, it's hot. 
My oh, guess yeah. is that's going to be perfect. Uh, a little spinny. I'm going to have about 150 yards farther into the hole than you. 130. I mean, that's right down the middle, hey, though. Hey, it's down the middle, though. <laughs> All right, so I got 155 yards. Um, the wind, I think, just right to left more than anything. I'm going to try to play a 150-yard shot. There's a shot I played in Mexico that you guys saw um, on the eighth hole, I believe it was. Just a smooth three-quarter niner that hit it about this far. That's, that's what I'm trying to dial up. I knew it. The wind was not hurting, and I literally hit that perfect. All right, here's Zach's ball. A little unlucky because it's really not that much bad stuff over here, but it is kind of nestled down it is right there. Perfect. About a 130 shot would be my guess. But, I mean, he's got life. He could have been in there with the snakes, but here he is. Holy thick lie. Is it going to get up there? Is it just going to be short? Yeah, Ooh. That was, that was I really mean, tough. <laughs> good news is we found it. Bad news is he does have a chip at birdie, but I mean, heck, he, look, as yeah, well, as you guys saw, the last hole, kind of comfortable with that chipper in his hand. Yep, <laughs> see if we can't do it again. All right, here we go, Zach. Up and down here, I could kind of, I mean, almost close the door. Not bad, it kind of kicked a little and squirted a little left on him, but he's gonna have work for par. Yeah. The door is open. Looks good. Oh my gosh. That was big. Hey, you're the worst. Thanks for coming. I'm going back home to Aiken. You have a great day. <laughs> Golly, what a putt. What a clutch up and down. I mean, literally, as soon as it left his putt, I'm like, yep, that's in. Sweet. <laughs> but That was fun. Enjoy it. Yep, thank you. The good news is I'm used to losing on the channel, so this is <laughs> not anything new to me. But we both, honestly, both played really well. Yeah. 300 for Zach, 200 for me. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tagging along today at the Hermitage. The course is absolutely pure. It's in really yeah. good shape. Thanks for Zach for hosting me. He was a great host. Sure. But now we're about to head to the back nine, and hopefully I can get some redemption on his channel. Um, so tune into that whenever that drops. But yeah, subscribe to the channel, my channel if y'all don't already. Subscribe to his. Like this video. We'll see you guys next time. See ya. See ya.